So hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can upgrade the SSD, the hard drive as well as the RAM on your Dell Optiplex 9020 empty PC. But before we go into that, we can quickly take a look at what to expect. Perhaps you decide to go ahead and buy this PC off of eBay or even on Amazon. Even though it's a little bit over 10 years old, but this one PC I can highly recommend any day, anytime and anywhere. It doesn't really matter what level of PC user you are. You want to do some little bit of office task, a little bit of graphic design, a little bit of video editing doesn't really matter this PC can still hold on to whatever you throw at it in front of the PC you pretty much got the standard Dell Optiplex design four USB ports two of which are USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 we've got the headphone jack as well as the microphone jack right here there's really nothing more than just this and behind the PC we've got right here the PS2 jack two additional USB 2.0 ports the LAN port and on this particular model of PC you pretty much get two display ports which is pretty interesting two additional USB 3.0 ports and two more USB 2.0 ports. And we also have a VGA port right here as well as the serial port, as well as the audio in and out right here. This particular Dell also has a graphic card installed, but we won't be upgrading that in this video. We're going to be doing just the SSD, the HDD, as well as the RAM. And for this upgrade, we'll be slotting in a 512 gigabyte SSD, a one terabyte a Toshiba HDD, as well as 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So if you've been a fan of the channel for quite a while, you realize that I kind of tend to use the Intenso SSD. I've used it for a very long time, never really had any problems with it. I got this for pretty much cheap on Amazon for less than 24 euros for a 512 gigabyte SSD. I really do think that's a very good offer. And for the quality, I really think it's a good deal. So to get this all sorted out, we have to first of all take out the uh, side panel of the PC. So this is how the PC looks right inside and the first thing we have to do in this case, I'm actually going to start with installing the hard drive on this PC and to do that, I'm going to go ahead and take off the power cable as well as the SATA cable from the hard drive that's here and in this way I can easily get hold of the hard drive. This is a 250 gigabyte but it will be easily replacing that with this 1 terabyte Toshiba hard drive. This is pretty much easy to install because you really don't have to screw anything. All you have to do is to put the hard drive on the hard drive holder and then replace it exactly how you brought it back. You actually see or know that it is sitting if you can hear a clip. And when you hear that clip, it tells you that everything is pretty much in the right position. Given that we have to install an SSD on this PC, we we'll would definitely be needing an additional uh, hard drive holder. This is pretty much what you need to do a neat job. I've got a lot of videos on this channel of me just installing the SSD just on the chassis of the Dell Optiplex PC, but I can tell you for free that using the SSD or the HDD holder is the best way to go. It's pretty much cheap. I got this off of Amazon. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Perhaps you decide to go with this. Alright, to start with that, we actually have to screw this to the holder. It typically has four screws, but if for one reason or the other, you only have two screws or even three, you can actually still hold this firmly in place. But in my own case, I've gotten four screws and should really uh, be easy to screw them on. So now that the SSD is already screwed onto the first part of the SSD holder, the mechanism for locking this on is the same as with the hard drive. I just have to take this and push it right here. And it clips on and I also have to do the same for the other side. So as soon as you've got this slotted in, all you have to do is to take the SSD holder and slide it right into the second SSD compartment right there. So now that we have the HDD and the SSD in place, the only problem we have now is that the power cable is actually not long enough to connect to the two drives. So for this, you'll be needing a wire adapter like this. You can pretty much get this for cheap on eBay or on Amazon. I actually got this for less than five euros. But in any case, I'll be leaving a link in the description below where you can easily get this. But with this, I can easily tell you for free that this would make your installation process pretty much a one-way ride. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this right here. The first part goes here. I'm going to plug the other part here on the hard drive and then this comes here. Okay, 
So you can easily hide the cable wherever is left right there. So if you've done the right thing, this is how it should actually look. So at this point, you can now go ahead and plug your uh, SATA cable first on the SSD. All right. And then the other SATA cable goes first to the motherboard. And then on the hard drive. So this is exactly how it looks if you've done it correctly. Make sure that your cables are well plugged so that you avoid any form of uh, partial contact. And this PC actually came with a 4 gigabyte uh, DDR3 RAM. But like I said, we're going to be upgrading this PC to 16 gigabytes. And so all you have to do is to push back the um, RAM holder and push in the new RAM until you hear the clip sound. In that way, you are sure that the RAM is properly sitting. So the first one is in. And I'm going to go ahead and push in the other one. So let's assume you have a Dell OptiPlus 9020 small form factor build. No worries, I've got you. There's a link here where you can see the same kind of upgrade, but this time on a Dell OptiPlus 9020 small form factor. So if this video has helped you in sorting out your Dell OptiPlus 9020 MTPC, go ahead and do me a favor. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Until I see you again, peace.